Madison, and uh, we're going to go check out the food, but we're also going to ask some people uh, if they know about the uh, food world order that's coming, and uh, I anticipate it's going to be a, a very interesting afternoon. My question for you is, how do you think that we can keep control of our own food supply in light of the direction Monsanto's going, in light of the current administration giving Monsanto uh, a place at the seat of the Agriculture Department? How can we keep good food good in the way Big Agra is going today? Uh, I don't know exactly how we can do it, all that, but hey. How about renewable food without GMO like Monsanto say, seeds? Well, they, if they, if they get off that pollution and come to the solution, way we can get it to everybody, everybody renewable on food and energy and everything. So we're here at the uh, Taste of Addison, and your name is? Sean. You know, I'm concerned about uh, the direction our uh, agriculture department is going in right now with Monsanto and corporations owning more and more uh, of the food market. What is your take on that and how we can keep food local and resist this corporate takeover of our food supply? You know, I really don't know. I just go to the grocery store and buy the food, man. I really don't think about it. Do you ever, when you go to the grocery store, try to buy organic when possible or? Whatever's on sale. Yeah? So we're here at this food event, Taste of Addison. How do you think, though, in government, we can keep things accountable and keep food local in light of Monsanto's greater and greater power and influence in Washington today? <laughs> Do you think it's an issue? Do you think we have an issue with the food quality right now? Um, yes and no. I think we could definitely have some healthier choices out there. It seems yeah. like everyone wants to eat fried food, or that's kind of our only option. It's hard to find healthier food. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I have no clue. That's what you're talking about. Yeah? Have you something? heard of Monsanto? No. What's Monsanto? Monsanto is a, uh, a big agri-corporation that's working to own the planet's seeds. Okay. Therefore, this corporate entity can therefore have control over the people of the earth. Okay. How about, you know, we grow our this own is, food. This is the uh, people that push the chemicals of milk, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we want to stop hormones, that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Would you say this is the perfect place to talk about such things? Because it's all about appreciation of food. I would say yes. Yeah. I'd go ask, I'd, I wouldn't ask the window guy, so I'd ask them. Okay. Are you already filming? So what are your thoughts Do about Monsanto? Yeah. Already? Well, I'm going to say, um, you know, I mean, if you think about large corporate stuff, I mean, that's just like what America's built on. You know, like uh, all the uh, stuff you see around here is branded. Right. And we're an industrial uh, company. Right. And that's what we do. That's what we do. That's we, why we're Americans. We? We. We. Yeah. You're an American, right? Yeah. But, so, but, uh, but I'm with the grassroots, the people that want, want America to stay America, not a corporate um, takeover of America. Right? Right. So you know, my, my viewers already know, you know, you can go ahead and grab my camera, that's fine. That's okay. They already know my stance on local being better. Well, than no, I really don't. So we all came here because we enjoy food. But how do you think we can keep food local in light of Monsanto's growing power in Washington today? No idea. Yeah? <laughs> but do you think it's something we should look a little closer at? Uh, kind of the, the trends taking place in food right now and only a few corporations uh, involved in the distribution networks. I don't really have an opinion on that. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, basically, uh, I just started myself uh, using uh, natural food. So uh, I think uh, we need to cut down on processing food and uh, make some food, you know, yeah. go back to the... Uh, Traditional way. Growing our own food? Yeah, but not necessarily. You know, you right. can just find a natural Supporting food. local farmers, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Support the farmers and cook. Yeah. That's it. Forget about the fast food and uh, uh, balance. Mm -hmm. We uh, really look, look at outside. Fast food all over the place. So why not cook, man? Well, how do you feel about the United Nations and Codex Alimentarius, uh, this uh, plan to control the food supply and allow a few corporate heads to dictate what's in our food supply? Are you aware of that issue? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, are you aware of the issues in the nation of India, for example, with Monsanto destroying uh, the lives of so many? And many farmers are even killing themselves because of what Monsanto has done to their land, their water. Monsanto. Have you heard of Monsanto? And what they've done to the people of India? No? 
Does it upset you that our current president uh, put Monsanto to head our agriculture department? I didn't know that. Did you know that Obama is a part of the New World Order? Yeah, that's not true. Well, we're talking about the food world order, okay. like the New World Order. Uh, these global food corporations that are trying to... What would you like to say on that issue? There's nothing better than having good food. It's been a beautiful day like this. It's just sunny enough with enough wind to keep it cool. Everything's cool. Yeah. You're having fun. You're having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah, we got a beer there. Is that good beer? Microbrew? Uh, it's uh, from Flying Saucer. It's one of their, it's a black lager, they call it. Wow. Well, thank you. Um, Check out Codex Elementarius online and stuff about the Monsanto. You got it. Well, do you think we're going to win against the New World Order, the global takeover of our uh, food supply, their attempt to genetically modify the food and thus us? It depends. I mean, I keep hearing about Monsanto here and there. And yeah. It's kind of unnerving, especially the uh, chemicals that have been used to, to, to fight the health, just the pesticides. I mean, okay. Recently, I read about that they were using this particular chemical on corn that offset insects eating it because made by making their stomachs explode, which is kind of unnerving, you know? Small thing, stomach explodes. Big thing, God knows. Mm -hmm. That's just stuff I read on the internet. About to roll some dice here. Oh, this is important. <laughs> see what I got. See if it's my lucky day. Ooh, a four. <laughs> can, I, can I ask you a question about Jack FM? Sure. Okay, so how do you think that we can use the power of the airwaves to give the people a greater voice about knowing the criminality going on with corporations, but say our president today and past presidents and people running today? <laughs> and you're a woman, for example, so we can also expose some of the war crimes that are happening right now in the Middle East against women. How do you think that we can use the power of the airwaves as people grateful to live in the United States of America? How do you think we can do that so we can help make a better difference in our world? How about you, sir? How do you think we can start exposing, say, Monsanto, for example, since we're all here because we love food, that private corporation that our current president put ahead of our agriculture department? How do you think that we can help bring awareness so those of us that love food can continue to eat good quality food? Um, I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's okay. I, I guess what they can do is... I, what can they do? I don't know. <laughs> So my question for you is, how can we, the people of the U.S., take back our media and expose, say, human rights violations that have taken place in, say, Afghanistan and, and places like that, Iraq and... I'm buying hot wings. Buying hot wings? Okay. Do you guys support alternative media? So how do you think that we can turn our, our country into something better than garbage? Waste, destruction. How do you think we can make things more accountable in Washington and uh, you know push back the new world order? Uh, just less littering. And, yeah. You know, more people cleaning up after themselves. Yeah. Yeah, and people recycling. Do you think that the new world ed new world order agenda will be defeated? Uh, probably, probably not. P probably not. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could throw the litter back at them and uh, they'll run away. Yeah, probably. Um, you get to keep that dollar if you follow the answering multiple choice question correctly. What do you think is more important? A, to have a great mate. B, to have a great job. C, to be able to travel. Or D, to defeat the oppressive new world order. Uh, <laughs> that's the idea. Uh -huh. that, was that was an easy one. So, A through C, personal desires. D, being a humanitarian and ending the new world order. Okay, so D. D. Okay, it's time to take a break from all the interviews and sit down, have some food myself, and of course give thanks to it, wherever it came from, however it was designed, for, in the end, humanity shall prevail over the new world order. Really?